Okay, so I added 182 grams of potassium nitrate and 182 grams of concentrated sulfuric acid to my boiling flask. I hooked up my uh, distillation setup. I also got the NO2 fumes neutralizing in a bottle of lye so I don't have to worry about the fumes wrecking my shed. Now I just gotta, I turn the heat on and now I'm just gonna wait for it to get up to temperature. The temperature is probably around 40 degrees right now so I gotta wait a bit. So uh, we'll be back when it's up to temperature. Okay, now that we're almost up to temperature, you can start to see the NO2 fumes building up. But they're getting neutralized in my bottle a lot. You can see them bubbling in there. So that's good. Now, you can start to see the condensation building on the still head. Temperature is about 70, 80 degrees, so pretty soon we'll be getting our first drops of nitric acid. I've never uh, used a bottle of lye before to uh, neutralize the fumes, but uh, hopefully it works. Okay, so now we're up to temperature, about a hundred and something degrees. You can see the condensation and all the fumes condensing. So I'll be getting my first drops of nitric acid soon. I should really have uh, some ice bath for my receiving flask, but I ran out of ice. So, oh well. You can see that nitric acid there. It's a little discolored because of the kind of sulfuric acid I'm using. It's a drain cleaner called Liquid Fire. I could, I'm from Canada and I could only find liquid fire in the state so I had to bring it across the border there. So in a little bit I'll show you some uh, nitric acid that's going to be in there. So you can see some steady drips of nitric acid coming. Once you, uh, once it slows down or it gets irregular, you know it's time to uh, stop the distillation as it's done. You might also see some uh, white fumes coming off of your your uh, mixture bottle here. So if that happens, you know that's the decomposition of sulfuric acid, and you don't want that. So you'll uh, stop the distillation at that time. I have a very long leeward condenser. The longer the better. The short ones are not really efficient at uh, condensing the fumes. Mine's 500 millimeters or so. That's the brand of sulfuric acid I'm using. Seems to be working pretty good, but I'm going to try to switch to a different product and see if I can get better results. But now where it's coming along, it's really cleared up now. The acid's starting to clear, get a nice clear tinge. As you can see, I got some nice big drops coming across, so you know that this thing is uh, pretty efficient. If you just got small little droplets, you should probably have a better condenser. But this one's doing a pretty good job, if I say so. 
see the nice big drops. It's all condensed right in this beginning part, so you know it's doing pretty good. I took the tin foil off so you can get a look at the receiving flask or the boiling flask. You don't want to add too much sulfuric or else it'll uh, carry over some sulfuric acid. The color of the acid, the color of the acid has now changed from a red to almost a white, so you know that it's getting close to being done. I started to get it a little too hot, so I had to take off the tin foil. But this right here would be uh, white fuming nitric acid, but I don't have a fractionating column and I don't have a way to change out the, my receiving flask for each fraction. So I just let it all go into one and then I'll, I'll worry about it later. Yeah, so as you can see now, it's starting to get to the point where I should probably turn off the heat, so I'm going to do that right now. Let it cool down and then I'll show you the final product. Now I got enough battery so that you can see the finished product there. Okay, so here's my red fuming nitric acid. It's probably around 100 milliliters or so. You can tell by the fumes. I don't know if you can see them, but there it is. So uh, please subscribe, rate, and comment. Thanks for watching.